but to some extent, and to some extent, even the Fed in indicating interest rates will stay higher for longer seems to be feeding into that. I, I, having read your recent article, something you're distressed about. Well, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'm concerned about the Fed, though I understand it's a difficult choice right now. I mean, we have several things that are individually not that big. Taken together, it's very likely that we're going to see, I think Goldman's been calling it a pothole for growth in the fourth quarter. Um, if the government shutdown, if they're, you know, first of all, we might actually manage to avoid one, which I have to say is kind of a miracle. But if there is a government shutdown, if it's brief, it's not a big deal. It's only if it accumulates. I mean, a, a large number of government workers would be furloughed for a little while, an even larger number would be going without pay, but expecting to be paid afterwards. So they, as long as it doesn't go on for very long, it's not gonna have a big impact on spending. But you know, a shutdown that runs for months is gonna get really ugly, and that's still a, a definite possibility. I look at your latest article, or the recent article. You say the bond market is saying high interest rates are here to stay, and it's not easy to see why that should be the case. In other words, you know, this I, the Fed, and and you're 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 questioning the reasoning for this. The Fed yeah. is telling us, as we listen to the last uh, meeting, and you look at the latest statements, that the rates aren't going down anytime soon. Now, is that, in your view, because of some myopic policy point of hitting a mythical number of two percent, or have they just got it wrong again? Well, first of all, they they may. I mean, they're responding, the Fed is responding to the state of the economy. And so far, you're really not seeing a big negative impact from the rate hikes so far. So although the inflation news has been really, really good, almost surreally good in the last few months, um, they're still worried about the economy overheating. Uh, and you know, with the, when they say do projections that say, well, we don't expect to be cutting rates anytime soon, that's because their current forecast is that the economy is not likely to weaken very much. They don't know that. I don't know that. It's uh, So right now, like, I, I like to say that right now the Fed is working on a PPE basis. Uh, proof of the pudding is in the eating, right? They're, they're uh, not going to cut rates as long as the economy seems to be resilient in the face of the rate hikes they've done so far. But that could change quite soon. We have to see. But, you know, I, I was much struck by the conversation you had in The Times with uh, P Peter Coy in, in Look Ahead and you, 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 on this question of whether there will be a recession or not. And you, you, you write, honestly, I don't know what I believe here. Um, are we in that uncharted territory where the historical compass and reference points don't tell us or guide us, give us much guidance? Sure. I mean, look, we've had a major inflation burst and a major monetary tightening, um, which we haven't had anything like that for 40 years. I mean, we're really going back, going back to the early 1980s as a model for the kind of thing that is happening, except there are many discontinuities between what's been happening in the U.S. economy this time and what happened the last time we had serious inflation. And also, you know, the world has changed a little bit in 40 years, right? Um, so we don't have very good historical precedents. Um, you know, you can try to, if there are many things, almost everything in economics is hard to estimate given the available data, but the lags in policy has got to be one of the most impossible things to estimate. How long does it take a Fed rate hike to actually filter through to the economy? Well, we have various numbers. Some of them say that there's still a lot of downdraft uh, ahead of us. Some of them say there isn't. Um, so I, I don't have a lot of faith that right. any, certainly that I or anybody knows. But, but finally, but are you surprised, Paul? Are you surprised when you look at the sheer amount of tightening in a relatively short period? In other days, in other times, we would have said, oh, it's over, turn the lights off, last person out. But that's yeah. not happening. Yeah, I mean, what particularly the normal place where the rubber meets the road in Fed policy is housing. We expect that monetary policy works largely through Fed funds rate affects the mortgage rate, which affects housing starts, and that's where the biggest you know channel of transmission comes. Uh, mortgage rates are sky high, but housing is not crashing. 
And that's totally at odds with what I expected. It's totally at odds with past experience. Uh, what, what do we what do we make of it? I, I would not have believed that if you told me a year ago that we'd be here now with these numbers. But it's it's a you know, the world changes and who knows what what the source of resilience is here.